What's up gamers, my name is Joy Rasul. I want a mech suit for my birthday just like you, and this is my review of Archangel Hellfire. What works well in VR is a small window indeed. Games need to be first person, the movement needs to make sense, and the pace needs to be slower than your average FPS. In 2017, Skydance Interactive released Archangel, a narrative-driven mech rail shooter that told the tale of the 2089 war between the Humanix and the USFF. You pilot the first mech equipped with a combat AI and you bring hope to the people by shooting shit out of the sky and punching robot dogs. One year later, Skydance is releasing Archangel Hellfire, a online PvP version of the game that takes you off the rails and gives you full mobility. This time around, you have full locomotion at a faster pace than the original, including booster packs and hovering. As far as VR goes, a mech game where you're seated makes a lot of sense from a narrative standpoint. Or sit point. Playing from a seated position is natural and comfortable, and it makes this one of the VR games that you can spend the longest time in. It also means that you rarely run into scale issues that need to be corrected out. Normally I'd be very wary of a VR game that doesn't have teleport-based movement, but from your mech cockpit, the nausea-inducing motion is really limited. Skydance says they've gone through painstaking means to make sure that that doesn't happen, and they've done a decent job. The mech controls themselves feel a little weird at first. It takes a while to get used to the fact that the aiming reticles are lined up with the mech's arms, not your arms. Also, the controller position is a little awkward. It feels like you're aiming a wand more than a gun. This puts some undue strain on your wrist, and we all know there's only one reason to strain your wrist on the internet, am I right? <laughs> Oh, okay. You'd think that playing the narrative story first would help you jump into the multiplayer, but the game has been retooled so much for customization and mobility that you might as well just jump right in. Combat is balanced, gameplay is fun, and the best part is the destructibility, which feels amazing in VR, even if it doesn't look that great in capture. Honestly, one of the only problems with low install-based multiplayer games is that sometimes it takes a long time to find a session. Skydance is working to remedy that by creating a community of players and starting a conversation on things like Discord to give everyone the optimum experience. If you want to be part of building this world and this community, then you might be involved in a game where you've had more agency than ever before. But if you want a multiplayer experience where you can just log on and play for a bit, you're probably better off waiting for a larger install base or a different game. The game itself I give a 6.5 out of 10. And the multiplayer is fun, but it takes a whole lot of work to really get into it, and the single player is lackluster after playing the multiplayer experience. I don't want to go back to the rails after this. Archangel is available for $20, and the new PvP Archangel Hellfire Enlist Free is available for free as a standalone game. If you buy Archangel Hellfire, you're getting both experiences bundled into a single bootable game. That's it for me. Check out Collider Games for reviews on indie games, AAA games, discussions, and more. I'm Joey Rasul, and until we suit up again, keep on gaming.